Hello YouTube! We're back for another video today. And in this video we're gonna be unboxing, unbagging, um, whatevering, some of the stuff that I got from the flea market and then I got from Somerset Asian Market. Um, also guys, this is not sponsored by anyone. I, I don't do sponsorships, but, um, yeah, guys, so we're gonna actually be starting off with the flea market bag, since I do these videos in order of whenever I got the stuff, so, yeah, just put that back in, and then move this over there, and... Yes, now let's take a look at what I got from um, that one flea market booth. Um, yeah, I, got, I, I don't know the name of it. I don't know if they do have the name, but if you go to the Lake Cumberland Flea Market, I think that's what they're called, um, there's only like one place on the inside there that has anime figures actually in the glass cases so if you go there um yeah that's where you'll find this stuff um not not sponsored guys um okay so let's uh, get all this stuff out of here if i can Alright, um, yeah, for once I actually got a bag, um, honestly don't know what I did to deserve a bag, but, um, yeah, now I have a bag. Alright, first we will look at, um, uh, the figures, oh, the figures that I grab because I always grab the figures out of the bin that's there and I'm the only one who grabs the figures out of that bin I'm pretty sure but yeah well hold on I need to grab some scissors now if I was just doing this unboxing on my own and not for YouTube, then I would probably just use my teeth, but this is not an ASMR channel, so ergo I will not do that. I, um, well, I might not have needed scissors. So I may have just wasted my time grabbing them. Maybe I need to um, put them up before I um, accidentally harm myself with them. Not purposefully. I don't do that anymore because I'm not in middle school anymore. Honestly, I'm surprised how easy these are to get open, though, because I've had some in the past where the bags had quite a bit of tape. Not sure why. Okay, yeah, this one I might need scissors on. Okay, there we go. Alright, now that we've got everything open... Let's take a look here. First, we've got this. Um, yeah, you see, I always get these, but I have no clue what any of these characters are from. But, let's see here. Um, if I can get this in, then we will be in luck. Hmm. Yeah, this might be, this must be um very exciting for you viewers to be watching. Um 
think that's about as good as it'll go. Oh, wait, there's a hole in the back here. Um, yeah, I guess she's missing a ponytail. Well, eh. I mean, that's okay. I'm fine with this stuff missing parts. Um, hey, yeah, overall, though, this one is actually pretty cute, in my opinion. All right, now let's um look at the next one here. I think this one is just one piece. Um, <laughs> yeah, guys, this is totally one piece. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this one's also very cute. Now this one I picked out because I actually really like this outfit. Let me get the camera to focus here. There we go. Yeah, this um, outfit, outfit though is cute. <laughs> yeah, if you guys wonder what I've done with um, I think probably over 20 of these figures here that I've bought by now specifically out of that bin um where you see most of them just get thrown at the bottom of my figure case because i don't know what to do with them so in the meantime i just threw them down there so that nothing would happen to them but i did figure out that i think i'm going to put them in my um, dollhouse. You guys probably don't know this, but I do have a dollhouse. So, yeah, and a lot of these are like, I don't know, I think they are a pretty good size for my dollhouse. I don't have a specific scale for it, but, <laughs> yeah, okay. How does this go in? What? I'm like, I'm genuinely like very confused by how this here goes in. Um, um yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, this one here, this is also, has a cute outfit, too. And, yeah, I don't know what's up with this hair not going in, but that's okay. Um, let's put that there. Alright, next, we have another figure here yeah it's never ending guys um let's get this arm on hope that this will go on unless today is not my lucky day um i think it's in um yeah, again, another cute figure I know. A lot of these I just buy based on if I like their outfit or not. Or if I like other things such as, like, their pose and such. But, yes, I am... I'm a sucker, though, for gothic outfits. Which... Yeah, this one is kind of goth, because I think the skirt very much is, combined with those boots, and just the overall um, gloomy look. But, I don't know, you could call me biased for saying that, considering that I'm punk, and I'm dating someone who's goth, um, 
cough, cough, Peyton B. <laughs> but yeah, let's look at the last of the figures that I got. Um. Oh boy, this is in quite a few pieces. Okay, well. Let's see what we have cooking here. Um. Yeah, um, putting stuff together while wearing gloves is, I'd say, definitely one of the experiences ever. Because, yeah, you never really know how hard it is to try to maneuver things while wearing gloves until you're the one idiot having to do unboxing videos while wearing gloves. Oh, right. I've got this done here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see here. <laughs> Whoops. Well, um, oops. Okay, um. Alright, let's get the head back on. Voila. Alright, now this. I definitely dig the outfit. Um, you know, I have no clue what's going on with the shoes. Very funky. But I am quite the fan of it, so I'll let it pass. Um... Yeah, again, I have no clue what this character's from, but definitely looks like um, whatever she's from is probably interesting. And plus, this was packaged with. Whoops, well, um. Hmm. Yeah, that totally worked out, guys. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, I. Like, I know that. I, yeah, I know this is from Dragon Ball, but like, I have no clue, like, what character this is or from which Dragon Ball because I actually have never watched or read Dragon Ball. I don't really, like, eh, I don't really plan on doing so, so, yeah, but, um, Dragon Ball. So that is all, well, I mean, we're looking at six over there, but that's the five packs of figures that I got there. And then let's take a look at this tool. A Shonen Jump magazine. And it says on the side here, um... Yeah, November 2007. Now, if you guys don't know this, I have a very weird infatuation with buying stuff from 2006. Probably because without buying stuff from 2006... Something would be missing out of me. But you know what? 2007, that's close enough. So, yeah, apparently this is issue 11. Um, yeah, 2007, that was, um, that was a bit ago. 
But, um, yeah, guys, see, look, we got bleach on here. Ooh. Because, y'all, recently I started reading bleach. And I'm currently at volume, like, thank you, like, 60, 67, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I'm quite a long ways through it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't really properly flip through here since I, um, I, um, don't have, um, very good setup here for flipping pages. Is this, the heck, um, oh my, um, this poor corner here. Yeah, I don't really understand people who bend corners of books. That That's never been something that I did. So, I don't know why, like, other people do it. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Let's see, look, ooh, ooh, bleach guys, totally, ooh. I don't know if this is, like, copyright infringement by me showing this, but, um, on this channel, I don't really care about copyright, so, um, whoever owns them, Shonen Beat, I mean, <laughs> Shonen Jump, um, if you have an issue with me doing this, uh, Viz Media, um, I don't care. Uh, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't care. I love copyright infringement so much. Okay, what was that? Oh. Right. Oh, there's another one of these stupid surveys. Oh my goodness. Man, did people actually turn these in? Okay, we got some different stuff here. Rate, your t rate the titles in order of preference. One for your favorite through seven for your least favorite. Uh, okay, um, what did you think of the following articles? <laughs> Wait, P PS2 game? <laughs> what? <laughs> Xbox 360? Yeah, I think this, um, I think this might have been a while ago, guys. Um, yeah, but very interesting stuff. All of this stuff in total was, like, $25. Um, again, I can never figure out how they do the math for anything that I buy. Considering that I always get discounts since I'm such a good customer buying all this stuff that um nobody else wants to buy. But I know this here was only like four bucks. Might have even been three. I don't know what I paid for it, but yeah, now let's um look at what I got from Emerson Asian Market. All right, first thing that I got was, um, jelly straws. Ooh. I've never had these before. I don't know what to expect, but I like fruit-flavored stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna hope these is good. If they're not, then I'm sure I can probably pawn this off on the one of my other friends. I don't know. Let's see here. What did I, what did I grab here? Uh, jelly straws. Jelly straws. Okay, well, guys, I think I may or may not have grabbed a jelly straws. So I guess as of today, I am now a food review channel. Very lovely. Um, 
open here. Um, okay, well, nothing's happening. I had to try to like, not get any of this crap on my gloves, so let me see here. Alright, maybe it wants me to like cut it open there. I don't want anything to leak out, bro. Let me. Oh my, okay, um. Okay, yeah, let me just cut this open here, um. Mmm. Alright, let's gobble this up before it gets on my blanket here. Yeah, this is just like the stuff that's in like the jelly cups, I think. They put it in a straw form, but you know what? I like it. Yeah, it says some pretty good stuff. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing for YouTube, but I'll just eat the rest after the video, but... Let's move on to our next thing here. These chips. And there is a specific reason that I got these. It's because my other partner, Ray, told me to go and get these chips. And it's for a very specific reason. A reason that I must tell the story for on her behalf because I think it is just... It's just quite the baffling story. Okay, so basically, me, Ray, and Peyton B, there used to be somebody else in our um, relationship, since we're polyamorous. And this guy was not good. And, um, okay, so basically one time, him and Ray were playing Identity V for whatever reason. Okay, and they were also on a voice call, and Ray, as any sane person would do that has been sitting in a voice call for like five hours, goes and grabs a bag of chips without telling this guy. Because this guy also had a tendency to get mad if you would like want to take a break from the VC. Um, but yeah, so she grabs a bag of chips. <laughs> And she told me specifically this flavor. <laughs> okay, and she started eating them. And this guy got pissed. And I'm, like, really just pissed for whatever reason at her. Because she stopped playing the game for a little bit just to grab some chips and eat them. And this guy, like, afterwards was complaining about, like, you know, oh, I heard you eating them chips, you know, how dare you eat those chips, you know, we was in the middle of playing a game, like, like, honestly, my advice to this guy is, like, oh my god, like, you make people sit in VCs for, like, like, literally, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, guys, like, six hours in a row, and you still want them to, like, you know, not take any breaks? Like, bro. Like, nah, getting mad over a bag of fucking chips. Like, really? So that is why Ray is my girlfriend. Because she is a girl boss who eats chips. <laughs> even though her abusive, now ex- boyfriend does not want her to so let's see if these chips are worth an abusive boyfriend getting mad over um 
I don't think I've ever had this flavor before. I've had some of the other ones, but not this one. So let's see here. Yo, this is like... This is actually really good. Like... You know, I give this like... A good 10 out of 10. Like, not only for Ray, but because this has some actually, like, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta save the rest, though, for Ray and Peyton B, so that we can all feast on them together. And, um, celebrate breaking up with that guy. Even though that was quite a while ago. That was, like, July whenever we broke up with that guy. But, but you know what? I hate that guy. Um, he hates me. So, yeah, he is a bitch. Um, okay, next we got the Ramune. You know, honestly, guys, I'm just going to say it straight up. I do not like Ramune, but... It's Naruto. And... One of my friends wanted the bottle. So it's like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll drink it, you know. Like, whatever. Oh. oh, crap. I accidentally threw over this thing that you need to open the... Ramune. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hope that this doesn't start fizzing out everywhere because this is like my blanket that I'm currently using for sleeping with right now since it is a weighted blanket. But yeah, um, all right, um, let's just get this open here. No, don't. Oh my goodness, y'all. I, um. I'm. I'm trying. Put my whole back into it. <laughs> Actually, y'all, I'm just gonna pause the recording real quick because I actually cannot get this open without probably breaking it. Alright, I did have to take off my gloves to get it open, but... Yeah, now let's see. Let's, um, wash down the jelly crap that I ate and the delectable chips. Um, yeah, apparently this is supposed to be raspberry flavor. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'd say this is... This is, like, probably one of the better Ramune's I've had. But also, you guys might not know this, but, um, I am taste blind... So, most of the time, I cannot taste a lot of stuff. But, yeah, I'd say, though, that was some... That's some pretty good Ramune. So, yeah, guys, that will be everything that I got yesterday. Or by the time I'm releasing this video, maybe two days ago. But, um... Yeah, if you guys like this very messy unboxing video that I did today, then give a like, give a subscriber, and comment if you hate toxic partners, because I do, and that's why that guy got kicked out of the relationship. And that's why now I'm happy with 
the two people that I'm dating. Because we're like a happy little um, nest of um, people. And um, yeah, um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.